Sorry now for the PHL Afternoon News on this Sunday afternoon, November 1st, 2015. Good afternoon, buddy. I'm Beatle with the Zion. Afternoon News on Lines here at 12.20 p.m. Here in the top top story here is... Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt, where the remains of a Russian tourist killed in a passenger jet crash in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula are uh, expected to start arriving back in St. Petersburg, Russia on Sunday as questions swell over what caused the disaster. Washington, the White House announced and fighter that a small number of U.S. troops are headed in the northern Syria to assist local grand troops in a fight against the Islamic State. Paul Ryan announced in his speech accepting his speakership of the U.S. House last week, knowing that the house is broken and they are not solving problems. Istanbul, less than half a year after losing an insult on Turkey's parliament, the country's will and the Justice and Development Party appears to have regained the decisive majority in the dramatic snap election on Sunday. Florida executed 21 prisoners when Jeb Bush served as state governor and Bush, a strong proponent of the practice there, tells Shenan that his during his failed 1994 bid for governor that attacked his opponent for Gordon soft and a death penalty. A shooting early Sunday at Winston-Salem State University in North Carolina left one student dead and never into the corner of a CNN report. Mogadishu security forces in the small capital fought for several hours on Sunday before clearing of Hotel of Islamist Al Shabaab gunmen who had stormed the building after two bombs ripped into it. Police and witnesses said. So Japan and China agreed on Sunday to start mutual business to other foreign ministers and hold bilateral high-level economic dialogue early next year, as a Japanese senior government spokesman said. As the ties between Asia's two biggest economies warm, Jerusalem. Israel is fears in a return in the bodies of Palestinians killed during a month while the surge of violence and Alessa. Palestinian side agrees to keep their funerals moderate, the Israel Defense Minister said on Sunday. At least 36 people died when a fire broke out at the nightclub in Wickers, Romania, late Friday, police said. As more than 12,000 people took to the streets at Bucharest and signed to commemorate the victims of the nightclub fire. An island control car jumped a curb and slammed into a group of Halloween trick-or-treaters in the Bronx in New York on Saturday night, killing three people, battling injured several others, and turned into a festive evening a nightmarish scene. When it is as I've described, a terrifying scene into the streets of Colorado Springs where a gunman armed with a rifle marched down the city street and shot and killed three people before being fatally shot in a gun battle with the police. In Houston, the death toll rose to six on Tuesday at in Texas, as more bodies were recovered on Saturday after another band of strong storms and heavy rain that spawned three tornadoes and dangerous flooding in the waterlogged state. Democratic presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders plans to launch his television advertising campaign in Iowa and after this week of a 60-second spot that highlights his biography and promises a future to believe in. The Federal Reserve Board released an updated version of its large-scale model in the U.S. economy that may hold clues on to which that why a policy makers are pivoted at the meeting early this week toward a December interest rate increase. China's first key indicator this quarter, an official factory gauge contacted for a first straight month signaling that the manufacturing still has bottom out of the mid faltering global demand and deepening deflationary pressures. Power out to California. Meg Whitman knows a thing or two about her clean task after all she did. Raise eBay from humble beginnings to help create an e-commerce powerhouse whose market capitalization is now $34 billion. The Dow Industries rose 8.5% in October, their biggest monthly percentage gain in four years, as stocks around the globe rebounded from the late summer lows. UK customers of Vodafone are the latest victims of a hack attack as the telecoms company said that nearly 2,000 customer accounts have been accessed this week, exposing personal data including phone numbers and bank account details. University of Wisconsin Madison researchers have created a highly responsive, sensitive, and flexible portal transistor which can improve digital imaging technology. A new report by NASA outweighs the existing studies on climate change in Antarctica and the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change 2013 report, in which suggests that gains in the NASA government were not kept keeping up tiny losses. In these tales from the Bat Cave, researcher Merlin Tuttle explains why he worried. have nothing to fear from and everything to thank for these fine mammals. The European Space Administration's flagship presented mission will be in the focus in coming days, and the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics as a publication will raise an extensive series of articles dealing with the mission's results gathered there. Washington Health and Human Services Secretary Sylvia Embarrow announced yesterday that more than $2.2 billion in Ryan White HIV AIDS program grant was awarded in fiscal year 2015 to cities, states. 
Mark Sigloff, trustee, gets an opportunity to express gratitude to President Obama and the individual one day. Is he truly trust that he spared his existence with what he did? He said. Seemingly confirming that the film will warn the pediatrician and other researchers at New Study in that general pediatrics find that fast food commercials featuring toy giveaways lead children to ask their parents to take them to restaurants. Dermatologists may be over prescribing antibiotics, which could be the contributor to the rise of antibiotic resistant bacteria. Peter Chow News on 1226. 10 after a spot report here. Da. Boston Celtics will be at the Garden this afternoon at 3.30 p.m. for a date with the San Antonio Spurs here. One NFL scored a report in 6.40 left in the fourth quarter. Kansas City Chiefs are in the Detroit Lions. 38-10. New York somewhere in the not too distant future. Perhaps in every year of enhancing his battle in the wake of Tommy John surgery. Matt Harvey could be the central figure of baseball. That's the Herschel Walker trade as the New York Mets look to try to keep their season alive as they are down three games one as they will take on the Kansas City Royals in game number five of the World Series. Sunday at City Field tonight. Basel Switzerland, Roger Federer, Bastard, wrapping up the Dallas, their first beat in the almost two years to win the Swiss Indoors final 6 3, 5 7, 6 3 on Sunday. Mommy's Corn Ellers celebrates with teammate Tariq McCord after he scored on the kickoff return to beat Duke 32 at an NCAA football game in Durham, North Carolina. Montreal Canadiens goaltender Curry Price is settling with a lower body injury to gain that's via Twitter. Pierre Chaldusab is out 12-27 here on this Sunday afternoon here in the Nidus Dynafa. A weather travel report here on this Sunday afternoon. Maybe. And it is looking good, except for some few slow spots. One day on the west bad side. Also around the Jamestown area after the Newport Bridge here. 128 on the south bad side. And after, after Route 24 in Randolph. So expect middle age around 120 on the south bad side around Route 24 here. Route 3 on the north bound side in Plymouth Field, we got an accident here. Before exit 5 on South Street, so expect me ladies here. But, always a smooth sailing commute here on this. Sunday afternoon, the highways and byways in New England here, and the mass parking in the east bound side, a little so any Austin Barton tolls here. And on the MBTA, Green Line suspended both ways between Park Street and the Haymarket on Sunday as trains will operate between Park Street and the Haymarket. And buses replace the red line service between JFK, UMass, and Quincy Center stations on November 1st from start to the end of the service here. And on the Kabir Rail, looking good. And on the ferries, they are looking good. Peter Channel News on 1228 on this Sunday afternoon here. Time out for Water Report here on. This afternoon, the slight chance of shots before 3 p.m. Most skies got about 63 degrees. Southwest about 14 miles because I is 32 miles an hour. Chance of temperatures 20%. Tonight, podcast got about 44 degrees. Southwest about 5 to 10 miles coming light after midnight here. Monday, most skies got about 63 degrees. Light west wind. But night, podcast got about 43 degrees. Calm wind. Tuesday, south skies got about 600 degrees. Calm wind. We came to southwest about 5 to 7 miles by the afternoon here. Tonight, most skies got about 47 degrees. Wednesday, South Carolina about 65 degrees. What's that? Most coast got about 46 degrees. Thursday, South Carolina about 71 degrees. Thursday, Punk Coast got about 52 degrees. Friday, Punk Coast got about 70 degrees. Friday, that Chest and Shots, Most Coast got about 52 degrees. Chest page to 30 percent for Saturday. Punk Coast got about 62 degrees. Here, currently in the north, 61 degrees are overcast. Guys, give it a 70 percent. That is going to be it for the Peter Channel afternoon news here on this Sunday afternoon, 1st of November, 2015. I'm Pierce. Have a good afternoon and good day to see you for an email report right after the sports, right after the Celtics Spurs game. Have a good afternoon here.